What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Food Delivery Stories. It's Tuesday. Today, I was deciding what I'm going to work, lunch or dinner shift, because Tuesdays haven't been good. So I decided with lunch shift, it's 11.57. I just, just accepted a DoorDash for Walgreens for two items for $15.50. It's going about seven or eight miles. I have no gold today. I already paid my last bill of the month, so I'm good for the next 14, 15 days. So why not take it? I gotta gas up eventually sometime today, so I might as well just take it. I'm only picking up some pain relievers, pills, and milk. That's fine. It's a good first order, regardless. Seven or eight miles, I get it, but that area is pretty fast when I go to that area. That area always says it's a certain amount of miles and it really not. Because when you go to that side, the GPS kind of messes up, at least through um, Instacart. So let me see. I'll be let me double check the address. Yeah, it's not that far. It's a it, it's about seven miles, but I mean like it's not um it's pretty much freeway miles, so it's not that crazy. Um I think I only gotta deal with before I hit the freeway, I just gotta deal with three lights. And then when I get off the freeway, I deal with one light. It's not that serious. So, it is what it is. I'm only working until two today. Um, would like to just pick up DoorDash, to be honest. Don't really feel like shopping, but I mean, I'm shopping for this, but it's only two items. I don't feel like shopping for a lot of items, let's put it that way. Would love Pizza Hut to get busy start and do pizza, start doing Pizza Hut today, but we gotta knock this order out. It's just milk and some pain reliever medicine pills. That's easy, guys. Hit that subscribe button for your boy real quick. Um, I hope you enjoyed that part one and part two of my Monday videos. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I, I dropped them. No, I didn't drop them at the same day. I dropped one, part one, Monday. No, part one, Tuesday. And part two, Wednesday. So when you're seeing this Tuesday one, it's probably gonna be Thursday. <laughs> so it's all good. It's a beautiful day today. I'm wearing my shorts. Got a tank top again. Not the same one. Don't worry. I, I, you know, I'm not dirty. I got different ones because <laughs> they are the same kind. But I got different ones. So yeah, but it's a beautiful day. There's hardly no cars in the street right here. So hopefully that trip over there for that order will be super fast. No ID because it's just pain pills and milk <laughs> Walgreens Walgreens I love to shop Walgreens it's my number one place to shop CVS used to be number two it dropped down to number three because the Dollar General is so easy to shop there everything they don't have nothing in the back so everything they have is already out so you don't have to ask if they saw something in the back because they don't got no stock and shit in the back much but we're here at Walgreens we're about to go ahead and shop this little order right here Make 15.50, man. That's okay. That's okay with me. I'm estimating we'll be back on the way, heading the way back by 12:30. So it's all good. I'll be back, guys. All right, guys. So we just finished shopping. That I got a $30 Publix for $30. 11 items to go to the same area, different address. They're about. If I look in the map, they're about two or three miles apart from each other. So we just finished shopping this. We're going to Publix. It's right across the street. And we're going to try to make this happen. We're going to try to make this $15.50 turn into $45.50, guys. The only way this works perfectly, if the customer does not add a bunch of items. And I didn't scan my receipt yet for DoorDash. Because when you scan your receipt, that means you're ready to go, right? So I got to wait a little bit for that. So, I want to shop this order in no less than 10 minutes because DoorDash will be on my ass and I will have to de deliver. DoorDash has to be the first order I deliver. 
Instacart is not really too picky when you're driving to a customer's house as long as it takes. So, guys, wish me luck. We gonna turn this 1550 to 45. Let's see how good of a shopper I am. Woo, man. I got it done. Ugh, just finished shopping the Instacart. Um, and uh just finished shopping it sorry <laughs> i'm out of breath instacart text me i mean doordash text me as soon as i was done doordash okay. she needs to shut up doordash text me as soon as i was done with the shopping so this worked out great this is gonna be almost a this is gonna, uh 45 50 order unless it goes up we're definitely gonna drop off the doordash first you know, just cuz my phone just fell. <laughs> just cuz um, it was the first customer, plus the customer, Instacart customer lives a little bit up more. So, one customer's left, the other one's right. So, we're taking, excuse me, DoorDash first. I'm dirty stacking, baby. Tell Chuck I'm dirty stacking. I need a hat. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man, this works out better at 1550. It's pretty awesome. It's exciting when stuff like this happens, you know? At first I was thinking, should I shop the Publix first? But then I was like, you know what? There's no point in shopping the Publix first because, well, it, it was, yeah, I could have. Because then the other app wouldn't have texted me. I only had a problem, I was waiting for a sandwich and I had a problem looking for a cheese. They had alcohol and wine. I got the alcohol, but the wine, oh my God. The wine ain't my favorite area to shop. I rather shop produce and meat all day before I do wine. They have them so close together with different labels and sometimes they change the labels, so it's fucking annoying. But I got it fast, so it's all good. Woo! This feels good. I know people are thinking, oh, it's Tuesday, man, you should stay out. This doesn't really happen. And remember, I'm taking this order. These are... The other order is definitely 10 miles. So, it's all good. It's 12.27. I told you I want to be on my way back by 12.30. If I would have just done the Walgreens order, I would have been back. So, we'll see. This is pretty good. I'm, I'm loving it. 45.50 to start the day. The milk is still nice and cold because I got it in my cooler. You know what I mean? The beer is nice and cold. I got in the other cooler. We're gonna take care of you customers. I'm here for you. Now the question is the traffic. So this one, for this order, it says, so this order, it says 11 miles, but it's not 11 miles at all. So, it's still all good. Oh man, I sweat it guys. I swear when that sandwich wasn't ready and I couldn't find that, that wheel of cheese, I was like, I'm gonna get that text. I got it as soon as I was checking out. That was awesome. trash it's on a new management though you notice there's a trend in my area on the new management yeah workers here some of them don't want to work it is what it is bingo my mom is visiting soon next month wow in a few weeks in a few weeks i'm gonna take a whole week off spend time with my mom Last few times she came, I was working, so I took her with me to work, and then we just we did stuff from there, going out and stuff. But this time I'm dedicating the whole week to mom. Whatever she wants to do, that's what we go do. I was gonna take her on that boat, there's a casino boat, but I didn't know they have a dry dock season, 
So September 8th is the last um, time they dock out for a few weeks to the 25th. So she won't be able to go to that casino. So I'll probably have to take her to Hard Rock or something. We'll make it happen. She's going to have a good week. That's for sure. Take us to some different spots to eat. Um, maybe the beach. Drive around. Except Sunday. Sunday's football day. I love you, Mom, but Sunday's football day. There's no negotiation, baby. No, de no negotiation with that. Ain't happening. It's going to be one of those things. Yeah, I notice when I drive and like people in front of me, they look through their rear view to see what I'm doing since I'm recording. And um, this woman seems like she's pressing the brake on purpose. She seems like one of those people. So what we gonna do, we gonna leave her ass alone. You ain't getting no fraud insurance on me, bitch. That ain't happening. It's definitely not happening. Once you see somebody in front of you who's not elderly, they keep pressing their brakes as soon as you get closer to them. Yeah. They trying to do a scam, bro. They scamming. Alright. It's weird because it says nine miles left. But it says seven minutes. It's like... That makes no sense. We're almost at the freeway. I'm technically almost halfway there already. So I don't know why that map does that. So dropping off the first border will not mess us up with Instacart because Instacart's in the same area. And as long as you're going to the same area, Instacart don't really care. I think Instacart been a little bit better understanding people as far as driving, no matter, even if you're dirty stacking or something, just in general, um, driving wise, they understand a lot of stuff that we, you know, we, um, traffic and all that stuff happens. So they give a good amount of time before they text you saying where you at. Um, DoorDash used to call you. DoorDash will call you eventually. But now they send a text. But yeah, they used to call you. All right, so uh, we're passing another Dollar General. I don't shop at this Dollar General. I used to get good orders from here, but my service would go dead inside. I would have to come all the way to the fucking front to get my service again. Their Wi-Fi sucks, or you need a code and they never give it to you, so. It's whatever with that shit. But anyway, I don't want to bore you guys talking too much all the way over there. I'll come back after I drop off the DoorDash, and uh, we're going on our way to drop off the groceries. All right, guys, so. We just dropped that one off. Um, now I'm going back towards where I came from. And this car wants to make the slowest U-turn in life when there's a bunch of fucking cars coming. Oh my God, bro. You can't fix stupid drivers, man. Now, go. Let's go. Fuck, man. Some people must buy their licenses for real. All right, so this one anyway. In 800 feet, make a U-turn at Kingsway. Oh, so it's making me go back. Make a at okay, it's making me go back that way. What the fuck was that about? See, you're in an area you don't know. GPS on some bullshit. GPS be on some bullshit, man. So it turns out at least that the street I'm going to is after the drop off one. So it was on my way. So when you do something like this, that similar area and it's going towards the next customer, you could double stack, dirty stack, triple, quadruple. You could do whatever you want. So this one is um, only three minute drive away from this one. Just passed the order I just dropped off to, and um, nobody went. Nobody got their stuff. Okay, I've been through this road before. I've been in this road. This is what I call Bubblefuck Town. 
This is the people that live off grid type shit. Like they have no neighbors in their house type stuff. Like these are the ones that will shoot you if you're uninvited. You know what I mean? Uh, we're not that far away, just one mile. So that other order wasn't fucking 12 miles and all that crap. It was only eight miles, and with this one, it's only nine. It wasn't that serious of like distance wise. It just looks like it in the map because you're going to the other side of the water. But if you know your maps, you know that's a bridge going over the water, there's no lights. So it was fast as fuck to get here. A lot of people in my area won't take orders like this because they think it's really, really far, but it's really not. I have one customer that tells me they're over there like 10 miles up when they're really in reality from Publix they're only 7 miles away but they'll put 20 miles so when you know your map even though this area this part right here I haven't been to but I know the map where it is it's definitely a plus for you guys definitely oh yeah this person lives in an area with hardly no neighbors that's how I want to live I want to have my acres, I want to have my farm, I just want to chill off the grid, I ain't got to worry about all the dumb shit that happens on the internet, or politics, none of that shit, just chill, that's not now, so, <laughs> okay, we're pulling up, I believe, damn, that's a big fucking pool, holy shit, Okay, just dropped that one off. Very nice customer, very kind. So we turned that 1550 to 46. That was good, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's how you dirty stack up in this motherfucker. That's how you do it. So remember, every time you take a double order, as long as it's going the same way, take the chance. If it's going opposite direction, and maybe one one of the orders have too many items, don't take the chance. <laughs> so it all depends, guys. But it worked out for me. I've done it before. I've had a triple order going to the same house, but different people ordered. It was Instacart, DoorDash, and Grubhub. I remember that order like it was yesterday. It happened a few times to me. This is one of the times it happened. I had just two sandwiches to pick up. Grubhub was KFC and DoorDash was Burger King. Same house, different people. Um, it paid around 30 something dollars for four miles altogether. So that works. You know what I'm thinking? I think I gotta get the spark plugs for this car. I think it's time to change the spark plugs here. Yeah, I think it's time because you could feel the vehicle already kind of like not losing power but like losing that mojo, you know? I put my glasses on because this is gonna be fun. What the fuck I put my sun's like oh Whew. it's gonna be hot. Y'all about to see me ball head right now. Woo! Ball head baby! Ball gang! I gotta wait for this guy. All right, Cadillac Escalade SUV. Why don't we uh, hurry the fuck up there? I think I hate the most is when a driver waits for a car before they turn that's like far away. Like, hell, look at that car was all the way over there. He was still gonna wait. That's insane. I've seen people like that. They'll wait forever for a car to come that's like a fucking mile away to make a turn. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Anyway, it's 12.56, first hour 45. Still no goal. As long as I get to 50, no goal. Dirty stacking, baby. I'll pass the house, see if they um, picked up the, the milk. Looks like they did. Alright, so what happens now? I 
paused it for DoorDash because I don't want to stay in this area. So this area don't really have nothing. It has a few mom and pops restaurants, but it's not really a good location to work. Um, a lot of the orders come from my side to come over here or from Walmart down more. So definitely not a place you would park. Um, I am somewhat close to Walmart Spark and I could get there early enough to get a drop. I'm kind of thinking about it. I wouldn't mind. I'm over here already, you know. Spark needs verification. Ever since you idiots have been frauding Spark, we got to deal with fucking taking pictures of ourselves every fucking day. I'm not a photographer, man. I take selfies, but damn. What I used to pick up from that restaurant, that restaurant closed down. Holy shit. Times is rough, man. People wanted minimum wage to go up so much. We all, I knew that was all bullshit because it was going to go to shit. Minimum wage goes up, food goes up, costs go up. You thought that they was going to give you $15, $20 an hour and you think nothing cost wasn't going to go up at all? You guys are fucking retarded. Shit, I could barely buy groceries. What the fuck? Fucking eggs are going up and shit. I saw a troll pack of eggs. I don't know if it was at Publix or wherever, but it was like fucking over, over $10 for a troll pack. I said, oh, 18 pack. I was like, fuck you. That's why I do my bulk at BJ's. I go to BJ's and do my bulk. Fuck that shit. I don't play that shit. That ain't happening, Captain. So one more hour will be done for the day. Uh, the drop is not till 120 at Spark and at Walmart. I wouldn't mind getting an order to come back. I mean, I could just stay to 120 because by 125, the actual drop is over. Everything else is random. So I probably could do that and just come back. Yeah, I could probably do that. Yeah, we could probably do that shit. Let me see. get a package route that'd be nice nice package route going towards where I live to be done yeah spark is only three miles from here yeah why not we don't got to go today our last bill was paid already of the month so I got about 15 days free stack up money maybe pay some bills early for next month if you ever get a chance to pay bills early on the following month, psh, do it. I recommend it. <laughs> I live by it. I stand by it. <laughs> um, it takes your stress level away when you have slow days. Especially if you have it already. And if you're a person that don't go out much like me, definitely I do it. I don't really go out as much as people think. I'm not the type that goes out every weekend. I'm the type that will go out for vacation or a getaway. I mean, here and there, I'll, I'll take my girl to lunch, dinner, you know what I mean? But uh, we're homebodies. We mind our fucking business. We stack our paper up, and then we go get away somewhere for a week or something. That's how we do it. I think it's better to <clears throat> save and go away for a week or two somewhere than go out every weekend, spend money, and then, you know, when you really want to get away, you have no savings. You know? It's like my mom's coming. I've been saving for a month already when my mom comes so I could be stress free for that week and I'm paying bills up front next month. So I could dedicate the whole week to my mom. And in November I'm taking a trip with my sister for her birthday for like four days. I'm almost I'm almost paid off the the flight and hotel res uh, resort already. I'm halfway through paying it off, so in one thousand feet, turn right onto the Florida five twenty eight West Florida. So yeah, we're gonna wind up going to Spark. Fuck it, we're gonna take a chance. If anything, I'm only gonna be waiting like, by the time I get there, I'm probably gonna wait 10 minutes for a drop. If nothing happens, I'll just come back and finish my shift. I might lose my DoorDash shift though, so. Turn right onto the Florida 528 West Ramp. That's what would suck, to be honest. But it's all good. Now, what I still done that, um. So, okay, so let's talk about the double order I just did. 
So would I still do that, that Walgreens order if I'm out in a regular day? <clears throat> in 1000 feet, I probably would. Would I do that Instacart if I didn't have Walgreens in a regular day? Probably would. Definitely would have done the Instacart. That, that's easy. That's easy pickings right there. Heading out to da, 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 da. We're heading out to Spark. I need Spark. Plus, I want to scope it out because I'm gonna start adding at least a Spark order a day, starting next week on my new schedule. So definitely probably gonna wind up coming out to Spark like around nine to see if I get the 920 drop and wait there. To see if I get a um, package route. That's what I'm going for right now. I'm trying to get a package route towards the house. Just trying to get like another 50 or 60 bucks or 40 bucks. The package routes pay well and I don't drive that far because I know my map. So when it goes back, all of the package drop off, package drop offs go back to my house, to where I live in that area. That's not even a, I spend more time picking up the order and driving than dropping them off. Um, Sometimes the packages are ready, but sometimes you gotta wait. <clears throat> and I like to look at the map in my area where all the houses like are almost on top of each other. So you know they're only a block or three blocks away from each other. Makes it fast and easier. I had a, the biggest one I had was a 62, I believe, Spark. I had a $62 package route, $62 uh, package route from Walmart to my area. It took me an hour and 20 minutes to make 62 bucks, 17 drop-offs, it turns out. And another thing too, remember when you're doing drop-offs, it says 17 drops, but if one person got three drops, that's three drops out the way, you're down to 14. Sometimes they let you drop it off right there and then, sometimes you gotta come back, which makes no sense. But just remember that. And the other one I got was like 52, was 15 drops in my area, then 42 is the lowest I've done routes for drop-offs. We usually would get off on this exit, but when I get off on this exit, we're gonna go ahead and go to, we are closer to the Walmart than I am to my zone anyway. Not by much, but we are closer. And this shit dropped without me knowing, motherfucker. All right, I'll see you when I get there. On our way to Spark, baby. Put some spark in my life, baby. In a quarter mile, turn All right, guys, we're here at, at Spark at Walmart. Um, I just did my verification picture. Um, it's 108. <sighs> Got something in my eye. Um, there's a lot of fucking drivers here. This area has changed like a motherfucker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fucking people here. Good uh, thing my accepting rate is pretty good in this area for Spark, so. Probably gonna wind up losing my um, DoorDash shift. It's 109, a drop won't come to 11 minutes. And my DoorDash shift ends in 11 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it back on in about 10 minutes. And wait five minutes for the drop and head back. I could get an order from here to go back, so I'm banking on that. So yeah, man, we're here at Spark. We're back here. The most I've done in Spark, I said it before, was a little over 300 once. I was here in the morning. 
I was at a, a hundred by eleven or noon, and by seven I was at three something because I did those dot com um stuff deliveries, the package routes. I did like three of them that day. That was like fifty each, so that was pretty good. So let's see what we could get. If I could get something to go back towards my area, I'll be fine. I don't go past this Walmart because that's where I got my ticket. Um, and that area, everybody's telling me they're getting tickets over there. That area is very strict. They're very, like, they think they're an army or something. But, yeah, we got to wait right here and see what happens, guys. We'll be back. So my stupid ass was on my other phone looking up some shit I had to do. And I lost my damn door that shift. <laughs> It's all good. Um, it's 122. A few drivers move towards the front because they think they might get orders faster than others if they're right in front of the, the, the parking, I guess. I don't know. Um, nothing's popped up on my end. I got three minutes. Then we'll head out. <coughs> excuse me. Head out and go by Publix in my area and finish out the day there. If there's a dash now, I'll do it. But other than that, it looks like it's going to be a Instacart for the next half an hour. Pick up a few things for myself. Yes, I do pick up a few things almost every day. I'm weird like that. Keeps me sane. Um, I haven't been on here in a while, so a lot of people, you know, they probably have priority before me. But my metrics for Spark is 98% on-time pickup. 90% completion rate, which I don't know what that's about. I completed everything I've done. 4% accepting rate because they do dumb shit. And 4.5 customer rating because when it comes to Spark customers, they're a different breed. They're some of the cockiest motherfuckers in life. Like, they're just, I don't know what it is. This has a dent. Oh, this and they, they fraud you more than Instacart and DoorDash just because they give you a good tip and they could take the whole thing away. So that's why, you know, every app they could take, you know, your tip away. But Spark, they're known for that shit. I knew somebody that went, helped a couple, even put the groceries inside in their fridge and the cabinets. It was very nice to them. Um, I think it was a $40 tip. It was a lot of groceries. They took the whole shit away. The next day, you know, you wait 24 hours to get your tip in. They took the whole shit away. That's some cold-blooded shit right there. That was definitely not a nice person. So this is the other water I drink. Wesley water from BJ's. And then the other essential water that I drink. Those are the only ones I drink. I don't drink tap water. I don't drink purified water. These are the ones I drink right now. Speaking about drinking, I gotta order my Zoas online. From Costco tonight or tomorrow. I mean, using the rain energy drinks, they're pretty good, but I like the Zoas better. They taste better to me. 125 so it's gonna be a wrap here for spark um i tried i tried guys i saw the cookie crumble sometimes i'm not disappointed because it's not my main app so it's not like i'm mad or nothing i'll leave it on until we get a little bit further but for now we're gonna go ahead and head back out to my zone A lot of drivers, a lot of drivers. Exaggerated with drivers, man. It's insane. back it's about a 10 minute drive don't worry i won't keep you with me for the whole 10 minutes i know it's i know it's annoying hearing somebody talk all the time but this is how i relieve myself by being in the car by myself sometimes i talk to myself i said i might as well put it on recording just talk to the people of the world that's in the post office where i got my passport first time i ever got a passport first time using it on a trip this year so over here, we got a McDonald's across the street. Across the street from Walmart, there's a Little Caesars and a Little Caesars and Taco Bell. Post office right here, there's a McDonald's. 
this little plaza you got Publix I shopped there before you got beef for Brady's you got a Chinese spot there's a few areas here that you could try out if you're in my area it's in Clear Lake you could try out um, I heard this Publix is better I went in it's hard for me to find shit so I'm so used to the other one but I had a few good orders there man they, they, they tip pretty well over here it's just a lot of traffic I don't feel like dealing with it I did a 45 once for like 20 items and then I did 22 for one mile for five items it was all alcohol a lot of construction work here in Florida lately that's good I'm gonna turn here because if I had the DoorDash thing I would have went the good thing about DoorDash you can get a lot of Dash Nows because of um, Pizza Hut Pizza Hut gets busy there's a Dash Now so that's the good thing about having Pizza Hut relying on DoorDash and Uber drivers most of the time especially dinner shift there's a Dash Now if you don't have a schedule so if you're in my area keep that in mind even if you don't have a schedule log, check in log in check in a few times because when Pizza Hut's hot you get a Dash Now for a few hours maybe an hour could possibly extend the shift too all right so this is a two lane that turns into one this guy thinks i'm racing this ain't fast and furious bruh stop watching movies speaking of doors let me see if there is a shift no shifts here it's at 2 30 but i'm done at two so um when i park i'll probably because you can log in at 2 15 because at 2 I'm going inside to buy a few things for myself. So it'll be, it should be 2.15 by the time I get done with mine. So I might as well lock that in just in case I get a order towards the house. Yeah, I know it's the Instacart, um, the Instacart, the um, DoorDash app be glitches so much. It's like the app that glitches the most in my area. It's like, damn. It's a lot of glitching, man. You know what I think it is? They're adding too much stuff. DoorDash is adding way too much stuff to the app, and it's just going to crap. I had somebody tell me, does these app feel like you're working a 9 to 5? Not all of them. DoorDash definitely started to feel like a W-2 job more than a 1099. But little by little, they all feel the same. Only advantage is we could work when we want. You know, somebody asked me if you was in an area where um, you're making 200 plus a day guaranteed, like most of the time, would you work all day for it? Absolutely. I know there's an app. Um, there's an app called Get Gigs. I keep saying that. I'm gonna make a whole video on that. But it's get gigs, it's 1099 work, potential stable work. They might keep you, they might ask you, you want to stay on. But they pay you hourly, a whole day situation, whatever hours it may be. The highest amount I've seen after they take their cut is 194 to work eight hours. Unloading trucks, and one was like ticket giving, ticket handler, you know, a fare. I guess you work from the morning all the way till night though. But it's $194, just standing there. So I've been looking into that. I haven't found one exactly that I want. As far as close wise, I don't want to drive far for that. Some of them are 30 miles away. I'm not driving 30 miles for that. It's not happening. But um, depends. I mean, pays $200 is a whole different story. I don't feel like driving that far. My area has so much land. They could build so much shit. And they don't. Passing Jabbers now. I did a review on Jabbers. You go check it out. Next time I bring the camera inside so I can show you the food more. Definitely a spot I would go back to, I'm not gonna lie. Not a spot I would go regularly. I wouldn't go there around the regular. It's not my kind of spot to go on the regular. Like a quick stop for lunch. I probably will. I might take my mom there when she comes. A lot of people live right here on the 
main street um, in the woods. They have a tent. There's an elderly couple there. And I've been wanting to bring them food and stuff, but the tents are gone, so I don't know what happened to them. He used to stand in the corner, and she used to be right here somewhere under the tent in a chair. Hope they're okay. Um, I was gonna buy him groceries, like, I mean, not cold shit. I was gonna buy him a cooler with some ice and put some cold, cold cuts and stuff in there and water and stuff, but um, I can't find them nowhere. So hopefully they're okay. All right, guys, let's see you when I get there. I don't wanna bore you this whole ride. Hit the subscribe button, you made it, you made it this far, appreciate it.